Good morning guys, welcome back to another episode of Life in Recovery. Today guys, I am in Madrid. It is Saturday, 7th of October, 2023. I am in Madrid guys for five days. Very happy to be here. Really love Madrid, beautiful city, beautiful buildings, uh, really classy place in my opinion. Right now guys, I'm walking through Retiro Park. Absolutely stunning park in Madrid. Um, lots of nature, have a little look. Lots of nature, lots of greenery. There's a lake in the middle for boat rides. Absolutely stunning, to say the least. The weather is still absolutely on point in Spain. We are into October and it's still hitting like 30 degrees. So guys, just before we start, I want to say a big thank you. A big thank you to everybody who has watched my addiction story. The video in the last couple of weeks has just absolutely blown up. Um, thank you for everybody for watching, liking, commenting, sending very positive messages. Guys, that is what it's all about. The whole purpose of my channel is just to show you, help you, that you're not alone. Addiction is a serious topic. It affects a lot of people, certainly in the UK. It's all around us. And I just want to show people that you can turn it around. Recovery is not perfect by any stretch. Even mine is not perfect, guys. But uh, we're moving forward, and that's what it's all about. So, yeah, big thank you for watching. Okay, today, guys, I have a ticket to go and watch Real Madrid. Real Madrid versus Osasuna very excited to go brand new stadium in the Bernabeu uh, the refurb haven't been there since it's been refurbed very excited to go big Real Madrid fan should be a great game I have a really good ticket guys um, second row uh, row 131 or area 131 uh, very good seat paid like 280 pounds for it but guys it is what it is the price is the price guys I do not let money stop me if I want something I go so guys, first things first, we are off to get some pancakes. There's a beautiful shop here called La Desayunaria. Um, first discovered this shop in Barcelona when there was just one shop. Now there are several in Spain, I believe. I know there's two or three in Madrid and likewise in Barcelona. Growing quick and for good reason, guys. The tastiest pancakes ever. Let's go. Okay guys, we're about to arrive at the Deso Nalia. Let's go and eat some pancakes, best pancakes in the world guys. Let me show you, let's go. Okay, people, we are on our way to watch Real Madrid versus Osasuna. I am walking, I'm walking from my hostel. It's about an hour, hour and 15. Guys, beautiful day, nice bit of exercise. Can't wait to get there. Let's go.
morning beautiful people it's sunday eight o'clock in the morning guys i'm about to enter into david lloyd aravaca great day yesterday people went to see real madrid what an experience absolutely phenomenal four nil madrid yeah one a day to remember uh thankful for every day guys like that um yeah blessed absolutely blessed so guys i'm about to go in the gym train start the day well i'm going to show you the gym let's go okay guys we are about to enter absolutely love this gym they've refurbed it and changed it all around and it is stunning let's go and check it out bro Okay guys, as you can see, absolute sick gym. Today's leg day guys, nice quiet gym, great opportunity to uh, to make the most of the gym when it's nice and quiet on a Sunday morning. Once people are sleeping, we are working. Vamos. So guys, quick story, but this morning in my hostel, there was people, I was up at like six o'clock in the morning to uh, make coffee, have breakfast, because I wanted to get here early. And there was people literally still drinking, still drugging and coming in absolutely fucked basically and we're hanging one guy had his head in his um in his lap where he was so still fucked basically and just coming down obviously um and guys that was once me and guys look which lifestyle do you want that was once me in that position and now look at this i know which one i would prefer guys it's an absolute no-brainer um that lifestyle was shit in my opinion it's rubbish maybe in your early 20s do it for a few years if you want to but when you get into your 30s, 40s, do you still want to be doing that shit? Or do you want a nice, healthy lifestyle? Um, for me, guys, a no-brainer. Don't ever want to go back to that stuff. So, yeah. Think what you want out of life, guys. And if you want to get healthy, then this is the way forward. Okay, guys, let's do a little site tour. So guys, this is a very, very nice club of David Lloyd, indeed. Um, I would say it's the second best in Spain. On par with La Finca. La Finca is going through a refurb, but it's absolutely stunning. So not sure if this tops it, but as you can see, guys, paddle courts. So there are six paddle courts. One, two, three, four, five, six, which takes you all the way to the end. Paddle here, guys, in Spain is really popular. Um, if anyone who's played it in the UK, it's becoming more and more popular. So basically, um, you have to hit the ball. If it hits the side, it's allowed to bounce once on the ground, I believe, and that's it. So yeah, six paddle courts here. Of course, it's like 30 degrees, guys. So uh, as you can see now, they're empty. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon. It's very hot indeed. So yeah, they're all empty. This was absolutely full up like two hours ago. Um, people are probably taking their siesta breaks as they do in Spain. So guys, this leads you onto tennis courts. So, two tennis courts here. Beautiful. I mean, guys, it just goes well with the weather. You know, this is absolutely paradise for me. Fitness, activities, doing stuff. That's what life's all about for me, guys. And hopefully it is for you. Guys, get active. If you're not active and you're going through addiction or alcoholism or anything, I think it's one of the most important steps to having a good lifestyle and getting yourself into recovery fitness is huge any type of event at all any type of activity it doesn't have to be weightlifting um you know there's millions of activities as you can see table tennis paddle normal tennis gym running cycling all these types of things um pick whatever works for you something that you can maintain and um yeah, hopefully you'll be on your way to a fitter, healthier lifestyle. So yeah, all good. So guys, coming onto here, you have the bar. 
So you have a nice outdoor bar. One Coca Cola Cero, amigo. Dos minutos. Coca Cola Cero, dos minutos. Sí, gracias. Here, guys, you have a um, battle box. So, battle box is a popular class in the UK and it is here as well. So, it's basically like an outdoor circuit. Um, so, it's basically like outdoor circuits. Um, basically, you queue all along here, there's all your stations, um, you have ropes to climb and all this sort of stuff. Um, so basically a uh, circuit class. I've never done it personally, but I know it's very popular in England. Guys, look at these gardens, absolutely beautiful. You should pretty much spend all day here. Nice and hot. So out here, guys, you have like activities for the kids. It's just nice and peaceful. I mean, literally, it's just lovely. Um, we don't have this in the UK, never seen anything like this. You have basketball. So it's a basketball course. You have different stations to do different games. Lots of different, I don't know what these games are. Hot Scotch or whatever it was called back in school, which we all probably did, anyone who's watching. Um, so yeah, look at this, lovely. So you can literally drop your kids off, guys, and enjoy the gym, etc. All these classes are usually run by instructors. So if you're a parent, for me, that would be priceless, being able to drop your kids off and you have an hour or two to yourself go to the gym, train. I mean, yeah, what price do you put on that? For me, I'd pay the money all day. So there you go, guys, there's the outdoor space. And of course, you've got the swimming pool. There's actually indoor tennis and there's more tennis courts over that way. So yeah, this is just the basics, but yeah, absolutely beautiful. Okay, guys, welcome back. I am back in my apartment in Zaragoza, guys. Fantastic time in Madrid, spent like five days there. Really good, guys. Love Madrid, love the city. Great day at Real Madrid, um, Saturday, Sunday, very successful day, guys. Every day that you are sober, in my opinion, is a successful day. It certainly is for me, um, and that's where we need to be. So, guys, I just want to say, on my addiction video, I'm absolutely amazed, absolutely amazed. Uh, my addiction video has just gone wild. Um, the amount of comments, the amount of people that can relate to me and are going through addiction and trying to stop, etc., um, yeah, amazing feedback, people. Really appreciate it. And this helps motivate me. It motivates me to want to keep doing it, to want to keep... I'll always respond, guys. I'll help you as much as I can. Any questions, etc., just chuck them my way. Um, and it's quite clear, guys, we are not alone. There is millions of people going through addiction or know somebody who's going through it. Um, people that have come out the other side as well. I have lots of comments. Um, so guys, really impressed, very pleased with that. I knew the video would kind of go that way because, so there is little information, in my opinion, on it to show like real addiction, like myself. Um, there's not much content on there and I thought it'd be a very good idea and good thing to do to help try and to show people just what happens when you consume at an early age and if you let it keep, if you keep consuming, what potentially could happen to you is what happened to me. Okay, now I'm in, I'm in sobriety for the rest of my life and I have to be mindful every single day, etc, etc, as I've explained. But yeah, guys, really appreciate the feedback. It's been excellent. Um, I have lots more addiction videos planned, guys. I've got lots of crazy stories, obviously. 21 years of that shit. So um, yeah, I'm going to um, bang some more videos on very shortly on addiction. Guys, I'm going to be in Mexico in three weeks. So I have some great videos planned for Mexico. Um, traveling when you're in recovery is a skill in itself. You have to avoid things, there's lots to know. So I will share a video on how to stay sober, etc. when you're traveling. This is something that's tripped me up in the past, so I have some knowledge on this. Um, and then one day, guys, I do hope. I hope we can all come together. We can build a community now. Thank you very much for everyone who has liked, subscribed. Let's build a community. One day we can come together, we can share stories. Um, and yeah, just to show people that we're not alone and we're in this together. Okay guys, so thank you very much for watching. Ciao.